trouble tonight. I'm hoping you can hear me and see me and all is good. Can you hear me? Can you, can you, uh, What is happening tonight? I have no idea. Can you guys, can you guys see me? It's like really painful when it comes back for me and then, uh, and then there's a lag. I don't know if you're there or not. I don't know, it must be a full moon or something. I had to restart the system. Stupid thing. Okay, I splattered this with some of my gathered twigs. And I am thinking I'm gonna add a little bit of scattered straw as well, I think. Because why not? Create a little bit of texture there. Hello, Cynthia! Yay! Okay, good. Thanks guys for sticking with me. There's definitely technical gremlins roaming the halls tonight. Okay. I think that's our cue to move on to a new stamp set, don't you? <laughs> All right, so I have my little shellfish stamps up top, but let's now see if we can add some gulls. Okay, so this, it, get all the blips out of the way before the release, good idea. This is called You Go Go. So we have got some really cute and sassy gulls. And we have a message in a bottle. There's also the message out of the bottle and then it's unrolled here. We can have a feather, a pen. Well, this is actually a quill. And um, we've also got some buoys or buoys, whatever you call them. And um, I think different people in different parts of the world call them different things. So let me get Mr. Sassy Pants on the go. And I think we'll also have a message in the bottle to play with. And I think I'll also die cut one of the boys, the boys, boys. <laughs> Did you ink blend the sand or you use that color paper? Uh, good question. This is a yellowy orange color of paper and then um, I ink blended it with some gathered twigs. Let me zoom out again. Um, and splattered it a little bit. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have another, I know what we'll have, we'll have a flying seagull. And I'm gonna have another seagull because if I don't use them now, I can use them on another thing. Which is fine by me. So lots of super cute images in the you go go stamp set. Let's stamp these guys. Amy says, it was Heffy's yellow card 
and then says it might not be happy yellow card. Well, Amy, now the secret's out because you guys will be the first to know that I am trialing some new colors to add to the Heffy Doodle cardstock collection. So they won't be released next week, but keep your eyes peeled for other colors. Dum, dum, dum. There you go, Amy. Inadvertently helped spill the beans. <laughs> Okay, let's go for some Copics. I think we'll go for a blue. Dark blue. Do you guys say boy or buoy? I always said boy. And in Scotland where Craig grows up, they say buoy. <laughs> These look identical. 28 and 29. Well, 20 and 29, and then I'm going to blend that with 24. B24. And I don't know whether I have any other B20s. No, I've got B12. It's very light. But it'll do. And we'll go for a red. Duda, whatever this is on top. All right, buoy. <laughs> Amy says, she says boy. Sarah Louise says boy. Snow says it like the Scotland people, buoy. There you go. It's another one of those cultural phenomenons. So for my sand, I'm gonna do a little bit of pouncing action here. Let me scoop you back in again so you can see in my lighting. Oh. Kind of do little pouncies. Just gives a bit more texture. To that. And we'll go for B00. Just like a line to give the illusion of glass. <laughs> Amy says I'm so in all of your coloring. Amy, I'm always in all of your coloring. This always seems so slapdash. I think the biggest thing is that I don't try and color
Hello? Look here. No, it's not actually picking up. How is it picking it up there? Can you guys actually hear me? I just wanted to work already. I'm back. So how did that happen? You didn't do anything. Literally did nothing. You d he did nothing. Can you just stay here? <laughs> he did nothing. Gremlins. Is there a full moon tonight? Can you keep your phone on you? <laughs> I need like IT support pager. Do, do you have a pager? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, watch this dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Just being in the room was was enough to put it back on track, which isn't frustrating at all, huh? Okay. Add a few little dots to this boy's belly. We'll do the same with this cool grey lady I know it's so frustrating I just feel bad for everybody watching it on uh, playback as well okay. they can skip. They, well they can skip that's true so kudos to you for sticking around I'm so sorry I, I have a feeling that maybe my microphone is on its last legs. Maybe that's the problem, I do not know. Right, let me catch up. Craig to the rescue, yay! <laughs> His mere presence fixes the problem. Yeah, just makes me feel really helpless. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add a dark flash to this guy's wing. Or a lady's wing, really. There we go. And this one here. We'll do the same. So you can really see the difference between the uh, the cools and the warms here. This one's more of a brownie grey, and that one's more of a blue grey. <laughs> I liked it whenever Nessa was shouting at me. Let's <laughs> I liked it. I think that actually comment made me see it. <laughs> Maybe the Legal is pinching the sign instead of chips. <gasps> I think you might be right. They are mischievous, those gulls. I remember <clears throat> when I was very young. Well, I was probably about seven or eight, probably like Piper's age. And we went to the Isle of Man, which is an island in between Scotland and... Ireland and my parents have a had I should say I mean they still have one but it's not the same a um, camper van so we would go to the Isle of Man on our holiday and I have this mem memory of waking up in the morning getting out of the camper van like trudging along to the toilet block to brush my teeth and um then these like gulls coming out of nowhere uh, because my my mom had like thrown out the where you have you know the a, a bowl with some cornflakes or something in it and the, there was just a few bits of cornflakes on, in it and she's like threw it out at, over the near like a a gully um, and um, these gulls were like swarm down and then my dad came out with a chip or something I think it was chips and then I'd come down and like would land on him and uh, and I freaked out and then and then he then tried to get me to hold the chips so that they would land on it and I do have a photo of somewhere of me with like 10 birds on me <laughs> which may be why I'm a bit skittish now <laughs> now that I think about it all right we're gonna get this card done it's gonna be beautiful 
So I just want to darken up this so there's more of a differentiation between the sand and the letter. There we go. Let's cut them out. Back up there where it belongs. I'll have to get Craigie to investigate my microphone. See if I need to invest in a new one. <laughs> Carl and Becky says, we love Craig. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love him too. Just uh, bought him Father's Day gift. Father's Day's coming up. Can't tell you what it is now because he said he might watch the stream. Okay, I'll tell you. It's the Heffy Doodle new release. He's got about 5,000 stamps coming this week. Ooh. <laughs> yell, yell says, my son was eating an ice cream. And a, uh, a gull did its thing and landed it on his wrist. I screeched, no, as he was about to lick it. Oh, yuck, 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 yuck. That's gross, but really funny. <laughs> so where Craig's family is from, um, they have seagulls the size of cats and they are frightening so because it's so close to the sea in the north of scotland north sea um they they come in they eat all the fish and chips i mean well it's probably not just fish and chips they're probably eating all the fish and crabs and all that stuff from all the fishermen come down on the on the fishing boats and things um but i swear they are they're like they're walking around and they're like this big i try to avoid them <laughs> i'm like nope because they if they're in their space then you got to get out of their way just walking around like the city center massive Seagulls can be pretty evil. Yeah, it says Jasmine. Leslie, have you tried the new self-healing cutting boards for die cuts? No, I haven't. I do know that um, I, I Crafter, is that what they're called? Um, I feel like that's not what it is, but it's something like that. Um, have the self-healing mats, but no, I haven't tried them actually. I'll have to see if I can get my hands on on one. I'm okay with these. Like I use the little machine the most. The, on the big machine, they do bend, but they're, they're pretty. I have a pretty long life. But I would like to try it out just to, you know, just to make sure that I don't need it in my life. <laughs> All right. Sarah Louise says, we have a pair nesting on our roof right now. Do you, are, do you live near the sea? <laughs> With three chicks. They're starting to swoop down to protect their babies. Oh, so cute. All right, guys, let's start building this. So I know I want this in the background. So let's add that one. And I'll have to zoom out on my camera. So I'll just 
somewhat attempt to put that even. And this is going to go, I'm not sure whether it's going to go sh like really flush up front or whether we'll put it back a little bit. I think maybe I'll put it back a little bit. Let's grab my tape and find one that's going to work well for this panel, sticking it all together. So I'm only going to adhere my panel on the left side for now, by the way. <laughs> If seagulls live by the sea, what do you call them when they live by the bay? Bagels? <laughs> I think you just call them seagulls. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so I'm going to put this one here. And this one is flush with the bottom of my card. In fact, I can fold it back and put it down like that to make sure it is flush. All right. This is what it's going to look like so far. And we're going to need this. I haven't creased that, so let me go ahead and crease it. over here it's nice to see a deep shadow box card it would so accommodate a tea light oh yeah I think you could I think that's going to be the width of a tea light at least oh you could probably do it like this I mean obviously a tea light has um you know there's slight danger and risk and all that jazz but if you're going to be sensible which I know you will be. <laughs> okay, I'm going to add a layer here and I'm going to position it so that it's going to peek out above. In fact, I think it needs to go a little bit higher. Like so. That's what it looks like so far. We're going to have all our images back here. Oh, a battery one. Yes, a battery one. Yes, you are sensible. Well done. I approve of this message. <laughs> Me, that's not sensible. I'm <laughs> thinking of open flames. <laughs> so let's add. strip to this. So this one's going to go on the top hanging down. You could of course cut another panel to go on this and just stick it on if you wanted to have one that's further down or a different kind of shape of the the die. The other thing to bear in mind is that I've cut the die like this um, but if you you could use the die the other way around or fold these the other way to have a different design going in a different direction. That would work too. So here's my shadow box so far. Lots going on. And we're gonna start building these together. I'm going to grab my glue dots so I can stick these on. I'm actually going to put the the buoy behind this. So I'm going to use this little piece of tape that I have lurking around. How 
meter night is panning out please use a battery one i agree although batteries in me tonight are also not working very well with the batteries on the mic and then the battery on the camera screwed up the thing so <laughs> i don't know okay so i'm going to stick this in behind so it's bobbing up and down on the water and this little guy is going to stand right on top i think he's going to be standing on it Oh, I think I must have moved on my die cut machine, but that's okay. So um, if you want, you could just put a glue dot on his feet like this. However, the um, paper that I use is um, it's not massively thick. So in this kind of situation, what I would recommend is that you die cut another blank gull and then what we'll do is we'll sandwich it we'll sandwich the buoy between his legs and that will just make him a sturdy gull mr sturdy gull that's what we'll call him and um, for this, I'm going to use some glue, I think. Let me grab my glue holder. Oops. Coming soon to the Happy Little Store. And then I will put him behind there oh Craig's back scared me my audio is out of sync there we go great so he's on his buoy Craig is it buoy or boy Oh, you say boy, now I'm confused because I thought you said buoy. He looks good there. I think he's going to go there. Let's see. We can build this scene. I want to leave some elements for the front of the card. These will be standing up like this. And this will be over here, I think. He's going to be down there with his hands up like woohoo. And we can maybe have message in the bottle here. We could have the message in the bottle coming out of the water, I suppose. Maybe it's a bit big over there. All right, I'm going to stick him down. I'm going to cut him again. And do the same, have a have a seagull sandwich. Sounds gross. In hey In, I apologize in advance because we're having some severe gremlins tonight between batteries and software being punks and all sorts of crazy stuff happening now my audio is out of sync apparently craigie's gonna try and rescue that so i've die cut another flying gull and we need to position this I think he'll be
Am I back? Yeah. Am I back? Okay, I'm gonna clap my hands. You're gonna tell me if the audio's out. You ready? Here you go. <laughs> we'll see if that worked. Not sure what the rest of my card is going to come together like, but we'll figure it out. I think we'll put him here. Let's stick him on. I feel like I might continue with my little technique of uh, sandwiching all these critters because I can then be 100% sure that it is nice and sturdy and I can send it to a retailer to display in their store. That's clever, isn't it? I <laughs> only need a clapper board. Yay! Just, just clap, my, clap my fingers together. Did you fix it? for now. How, how are you going to ensure this doesn't happen for future releases, Craigie? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know either. I hate that whenever you, there's a problem, but you can't quite figure out the reason behind the problem that has magically fixed it, so. Yeah, there's a lot of Trial and error to get it all set up in the first place, and then something breaks, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Oh no. My glue's a bit. Problem is, I refilled that glue tub, and I think it's been refilled with glue that wasn't really made to go in there. Okay, Mr. Crab is there. Mr. Crab is like living his best life, and Mr. Seagull is like. I could eat you for my dinner. Mind you, Leslie sometimes says that too. <laughs> Yells Yell says, are you doing another card after this one? <laughs> I think this one is taking much longer than I originally anticipated, but I'm fine because I'm loving it. I think it's so fun. I do feel like I want to have a lighthouse in the background, which is maybe um, a optimistic suggestion, perhaps. But hey ho, <laughs> we will see. <laughs> I think this guy is going to have. A pinwheel coming up out of definitely gonna need a sandwich for my pinwheel but this is gonna go here coming up out of his sand castle so let's get a pinwheel on the go And just imagine the pinwheel turning in the wind and he's like yay <laughs> oh yeah that's true amy says your retailer will be able to sell the lighthouse so you're probably that's very true we shouldn't put the lighthouse on it good catch amy Stick this little guy on. Oh, I love him a lot. 
This is what we're dealing with so far. Uh, we've got this little lady. I wonder if we could stick her floating on the sea. I think that would work, don't you? If I was confident enough that um, the computer isn't just going to break on me tonight, <laughs> then um, I would maybe even do another C layer. But I think that we probably need to assume that something terrible is going to happen at any moment. <laughs> We shall get there though. We'll make it work. We'll add our little coral dude on here. He's happy about the situation as well. Okay, now before I do, uh, before I close everything up, I'm going to grab another brand new stamp set. Now this one, is uh, called Fluffy Puffy Unicorns. Has anyone seen this one yet? Well, I suppose I shared the card, one of the cards at the start. So this one is called Fluffy Puffy Unicorns. We have some adorable little chubby, chubby uh, unicorns. And there are also some cloud stamps. Now, there's obviously dies that coordinate with the stamps. But I'm actually going to use some of these dies to die cut some scrap white card to decorate my project. So let me, I'm going to add some to the background. I'm just trying to find a piece of scrap card here. Somebody says, that would be awesome, Amy. Amy, what are you saying? What are you saying, Amy? I want to try and use a tiny Brad. How cute. So the windmill thing spins. Oh my gosh, that would be adorable. Absolutely adorable. All right, so I'm going to cut out some more of these. And use them just without the the stamp. All right. Let's see. We might do some more. So I'll leave that to the side for now. So I'm going to put some. On my background, I think. Maybe a smaller one back here. I have to look at the camera to get a good look at it because I can't really see it at the right angle from here. Let's stick. Loving it. I'll do one more over here. Those clouds are perfect, says Amy. I can think of so many ways to use them. I actually do want everything. <laughs> it happens. As soon as you think, okay, I could do it like that one. 
and then you see a project from the design team or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I think we're pretty much done on building the inside of our card. We probably need to wrap it up before fate <laughs> uh, wraps it up for us. So what I'm going to do is take some strips of tape and add them to the, these layers here, like so. One, two, three. And if we fold all of these guys flat on our card, then all we need to do is fold this one in like this, and give it a little rubby rub rub, and then remove the release paper here. If I can. this and fold this one over now you can see how that is an a2 card right but it's an a2 card with a lot of personality so we're gonna stick on these extra things so I'm going to add a message in a bottle here. I want to need to make sure that my glue dot isn't going to overhang past the frame. Oh, I just realized I was going to put a white frame around it. That's no longer happening. That's okay. <laughs> I'll put that on the back. And we can put a bucket and spade here maybe. We could put the spade inside, put the spade in the bucket. I quite like that. Let's put the spade inside the bucket. Yells Yells says, I saw a mini dye machine in Aldi and I never purchased it. I wish I had it now. Don't you hate those moments? Yes. But life's too short for regrets. Just go back to Aldi and buy it. <laughs> Oh, I've done something silly here. Need to make sure that doesn't overhang. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm just sticking my finger in there because there's a glue dot that's gonna get. There's a little bit of glue residue. It's gonna get in the way. There we go. Lovely. Now let's add the rest of this. I'm gonna add them. To these side panels as well.
to really make this card pop. And I think that the, the white against the Razzleberry is just beautiful. Do some over here. That looks amazing, says Make It by Marco. This is Carl and Becky. Add that one there. And I've got my frame I can put on the back. But before I stick that on, I think we will put a panel on the inside that we can. Ooh, I don't think that's going to work. Just ever so slightly not going to work. Let me grab some blue. I think ice blue will do the trick. We're nearly done. It's so good, says Amy. Yay! Just like an artist to do the margins of the painting. <laughs> Um, somebody's saying what glue are you using? So the container says Connect by Gina K, but um, I ran out of Connect, so I added some glue into it. And I think it was Tombow Mono that I put in there. And I have to admit that the Tombow Mono is not mixing well in there. I think that the, the Connect glue lets air in, or something anyway. Um, because the Tombow Mono is definitely changing consistency in there when it shouldn't be, which is sad. Um, but what's even sadder is that my manufacturer, not manufacturer, what's the word? My, the distributor that I use to get Tombow Mono glue in America are no longer shipping Tombow Mono outside of America. So I'm not too happy about that. So I don't know what I'm going to do because I love my Tombow Mono. Need to find some sort of glue. Some heffy, I need some heffy glue, that's what I need. <laughs> but I'm pretty fussy, so we'll have to see. Okay, so we're gonna stick this in here and add this to the back. So we'll grab our grab a bit of tape runner for that and add some liquid glue for this. Gonna swap out actually. There we go. And of course you can use these dies on normal A2 cards as well. For example, you could use the, the frame here and you can use the little cloud and things to build like a one layer panel. That would be our one layer card. 
that's possible as well. Put that in there. Be great if you had happy glue. Yes, I would like happy glue as well. I have been looking, I have to confess, but um, the minimum order quantities were a lot, so I couldn't. I couldn't do what they wanted me to do, but I'll keep looking, see if I can find one. All right, guys, I think that's our card done. You ready for me to turn it around? Da 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 da! What do you think? <sighs> do, 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 do. Yeah. I love it. I think there's lots of dimension there. It's really fun. It It's pretty easy once you get going. Obviously, all the drama with our technical gramblings made it seem like it wasn't so easy tonight, but it was. And let me go get a card, and I mean an envelope for me to slide it into. So you can see that it just slides straight in there into a normal envelope. So you can imagine if somebody gets it. If you take it out, what? <gasps> oh my gosh! They're gonna love it. They really are. I think so. So I'm really happy that. Uh, I managed to finish the card without any other gremlins coming or naughty seagulls. Um, I was thrilled to be able to give you guys a little exclusive peek at our new stamp set. The A Little Shellfish and You Go Go. And uh, we didn't have a look at the Sealy Friends, but um, this is also going to work really well with the seals, stamps and dies. We've got the Breaking Waves border dies that we've used in the back there. They also work really well with the seals. And um, you had a peep at the unicorns, the fluffy puffy unicorns. Don't forget, we have got another day of sneak peeks tomorrow coming and uh, we've got another dog set you saw a little peek at that some one of the cards at the start of the stream and another stencil and some word dies that you're going to want to check out and um, then we have four days of reveals which gives you a closer look at the products on the 24th head on over to the Heffy Doodle store and place a pre-order and you will get I'm just going to show you the little lighthouse stamp set which has got the lighthouse the little uh, rays of light and two sentiments and if you spend 45 pounds you will get the coordinating die now let me show you the dies so we have a die that cuts out the lighthouse and the little uh, lines but you also get this die which is really cool oopsies let me let me get everything out because what you can do is once you've stamped your um lighthouse you can line up the die come on focus focus you can line up the die like this and then run it through your die cutting machine and then it will create these holes in your die. Now you could just layer paper beneath it. That works perfectly fine. But if you wanted to, you could put like an LED behind it to make it light up. And I'm sure I'll be making a card with that at some point as well. So if it's 45 pounds or over, you will get the die as well. And um, there's no minimum spend to get the stamp. The only prerequisite is that you have to add something from the new release to your basket. You can add things from the older releases as well to your basket, but please note that they won't ship 
um, until well, until all the products arrive here. We say that they'll ship by release day the 3rd of July, but you and I know that I shipped them earlier than that. <laughs> Robo says, this, that is the coolest dye for light emanating from a lighthouse. Uh, Georgina says, glow in the dark paint. That would be amazing. Um, you can make a spinning paper behind it. Yes, like a, a, a wheel thing. Absolutely, that would be really cool. Uh, IBL says, what time do you typically go live? Um, there is, um, I try around noon, I think. No, that's a lie. It will be 3 p.m. 3 p.m. UK time is when the blog will go live. Um, and then the pre-orders, I think, will go live then. Um, yeah, 3 p.m. is what we're working at. I don't know what time that is with you, though. So you'll need to figure that one out. Jasmine says, you're so clever. <laughs> Georgina is going to be broke. <laughs> um... And Makeup by Waxes needs no stand to display the sign. <laughs> yeah. Right, guys, I'm going to go and um, avoid IT gremlins. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, once again, big apologies for all the hoo-ha. Come and visit us. I hope you love the new release as much as we do. We've worked, I've worked really hard. <laughs> I love you all. Have a wonderful weekend and come to the blog tomorrow for sneak peek day four. Bye. <laughs>